Hey Libra, I hope everybody's doing really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for December 2021. And it is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so do keep in mind that it's not going to be for everybody. Okay, the situation might not resonate for you. But you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. All right, Libra, let's see what is going on for you in the first half of December. All right, we have family. Let me get one more. And we have offer. All right, so mm, it feels like somebody in this connection might possibly have a family or if it's not, you know, like their own family, as in a marriage with children, it could be that family is just an overall issue here, okay, serving as a barrier or just something going on here. And whatever the situation, it feels like whoever this is, whether it's you or them, um, there could be issues around how much they feel they can actually offer to their family and this could be an issue in your connection as well okay so it seems to be very very specific so again it's not going to be for for all of you um let's get into this and see if it is we'll get the details in this reading so libra sun moon rising and venus signs all right and the roles can definitely be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. All right. So starting off the reading, we have the Ten of Swords, all right, crossed by the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so there it is. Um, somebody really feeling defeated when it comes to how much it is that they can provide and whether or not they can provide enough. All right, that's what I'm getting here. So there's a lot of pain associated to that. I feel like there actually is some kind of an ending going on here, which is very painful, but it's creating a lot of issues for this person as to what they will be able to provide and what they will, will be able to give um, in a particular situation. So for the recent past, we have the magician. For the near future, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so something was manifested here in the recent past. Um, and it does look like, like there's some movement forward here coming up, like somebody being able to give, or at least coming, I feel like it's the same person here, um, being able to provide, even if it's just a little bit, it's like beginning to be more trustful or more hopeful of what they are able to give, even if that means just starting with um, small steps. All right, so for your energy, we have the Ace of Cups. For them, we have the Ten of Wands. Um, for you, we also have the Three of Wands. For them, we have the Six of Swords. And the potential outcome here, we have the Eight of Swords. All right, I know, that does not look too <laughs> fantastic. Um, for a potential outcome, but do keep in mind that this is meant to be just for the first half of December, although time is relevant, okay, um, as well as fluid, so yeah, whatever that is, it could actually be resolved sooner, um, but yeah, we'll see, we're going to clarify these, um, but overall, your energy, I feel like you're, you're kind of waiting for love, basically, um, not obsessively, like I'm not seeing anything really negative associated here. I just see you being in this, this place of love, being open to love with that Ace of Cups. I feel like this could also be you focusing on your own self, um, like self-love, right? Coming into that type of an energy because just the way that it's appearing in this card, I do feel like it's also representing your own self. Um, but you're open. It's like you're not very sure of the future and of what's coming in, even if you are open to this. So for them, with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords, yeah, there's something that they want to release here. So more and more, it's feeling like this main situation that I was talking about, right, about some kind of an ending and somebody being feeling like the challenge is what they can provide. And it could be that somebody is wanting to provide to do different energies here, as you can see in this card, right? Um, and just not knowing if they can provide to both um, to an, a sufficient um, extent, okay? 
and yeah, that's what would be causing all this pain. So this person, right, I feel like it's referring to them because they have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. So it feels like they have been carrying a burden, they have been carrying a responsibility, feeling like the weight, the weight of the world is on their shoulders, um, almost not knowing how to release this, right? And it feels like you're just in a completely different energy than that. Whatever the case though, this person is actually on their path to moving away from that, to leaving that conflict behind, resolving this particular issue which is also in line with what we saw here um, coming up in the near future. Um, but for the potential outcome, yeah, it feels like there might just be some fear or some overanalyzing still the situation, even though things are resolving themselves, it's just that there's still this sense of, am I doing this the right way, right? It, are things going to work out? Is this really um, the best solution here? So I feel like it's just kind of like this pain of this Ten of Swords kind of carrying over. So let's actually clarify and see what more information we can get here. So let's see that Ten of Swords with the Six of Pentacles, even though, I mean, that's pretty clear, but let's see. Yeah, Six of Swords again, it's definitely this person here. Um, the Six of Swords, the... Mine got stuck for a second there. This is the Knight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Okay, yeah, so it does feel like there might be a little bit of stalling currently, okay? Um, I feel like this person is actually trying to see things from a different perspective, like really just analyzing every little detail when it comes to how they are going to move away from this because that's showing up <clears throat> again here all right with the six of swords a second time so there is movement away from this <clears throat> from this type of an energy whatever that is which the way i'm seeing it it's involving family and what this person can offer to certain people in their family which is serving as an obstacle to your connection in some way or it's affecting this connection. Um, I do see them getting on, on, on the right path here, um, but it's like they, they take some steps forward and then they pause to reflect on whether, okay, this is the right way to do it. So that's why, that's why it appears to be moving so slowly, because there's a lot of pausing and reflecting, thinking about it and then, okay, taking another step. I'm not going to clarify the magician, I just feel like this is all about, um, I, I feel like this is actually this person having come to the realization that they actually can do this, that they actually can begin to move away from this um, situation that they seem to be stuck in or from the pain that they are causing themselves by um, just really occupying their minds by how much they can provide and trying to figure it out so intently. So let's see that Ace of Cups for your energy. All right, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, so, all right, there's love here, but there's also a sense of loss. Um, there's some sadness, there's some grief. I feel like, you know, you're, like I said, you know, you feel love for this person. I do still feel like you are focusing on self-love, but at the same time, you can't help but feel grief for this connection it's like you're looking at that rainbow in the distance and you're seeing it as just being so so far away that this connection is just something that is um that was once a wish and i feel like you're not feeling too pessimistic about it uh let's see this three of wands I mean, maybe you're feeling optimistic about something else, but not for this particular connection. So three of wands, we have the page of wands and the knight of swords. Yeah, you're trying to, you're trying to move away from this. Um, you, there is a part of you that is still open to it. I feel like there is a part of you also that is kind of waiting, like maybe, you know, this, this will actually resolve. 
Um, and that could be why it might be a little bit difficult for you to move forward. I feel like you might be, um, for some of you, not, not all of you, but for some of you, you might be trying to rush the process. Like, I feel like you might be really quick to, you know, um, to think of other opportunities that are presenting themselves, right? Um, kind of like jumping at those opportunities really quickly and then realizing that that's not really what you want. So then you like, you know, step back from that. And then you go back to um, just being open and just waiting, you know, either for this person or for something else to come in. And I do feel like for a small group of you, but this isn't going to resonate for most of you, for a small group of you, this is actually just being really impatient for this connection, right? Because this person, like I said, is moving pretty slowly. So for some of you, this is definitely you waiting. Um, it might feel like you're waiting patiently, but there's a lot of impatience hiding behind that. Okay, so just take what resonates. So let's see what's going on with this person. Um, let's see that Ten of Wands. Alright, we got four actually. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah, this person is like... This Ten of ten Pentacles is, is um, representing that, the, the family, right? The family card that we got. And take that as it resonates. I mean, it could be, I mean, extended family. It could just be um, anything that is in their, like, immediate environment, okay? They're ready for something new here. There's a lot of, there's this um, drive for them to really take a leap of faith, to take some action pretty quickly, pretty impulsively, like, not even... Which is interesting because it's so different than the energy that I was just talking about, right? With them being careful and like, you know, reflecting back. There's this other part of them, like, it's like the more burden they feel by this and the more it's like building up, the more that they are feeling like, okay, I need to pick up the pace here. That's what's happening because they are reflecting back, they're taking those pauses, but I feel like that is actually what is um, burdening them even more. It's making the whole ordeal even more tiring. It's like ripping off that band-aid very, very slowly. And it just gets more and more painful, it gets more and more heavy, more and more exhausting. Um, so yeah, that and that's why we have this Nine of Swords, right? Like that energy just creates so much, so much more pain, so much more anxiety. And so the more that builds up, the more, you know, they're feeling like, all right, you know what, I, I need to, like, hurry up and get this done and over with. Like, whatever it is that they are doing when it comes to how they're moving away from this connection. And that's going to be different for each of you, depending on the, on the situation that they're in. Um, whether it be cutting off certain people completely, or whether it be, like, a divorce, or whether it be, um, I don't know, just releasing certain responsibilities associated with a certain group of people or person. So let's see the Six of Swords. All right, so interesting because we have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> I wish I had stopped there, but nope, this Five of Swords did want to come out. Um, however, it might not be that that negative here, okay? Because the Five of Swords could go either way. Um, they're definitely moving towards what it is that would fulfill them, towards what it is that makes them happy, because apparently whatever situation they're stuck in here, right, that they feel this responsibility towards, that they have to, you know, offer, and they're so worried about whether they can provide enough, um, that's not it. That's, that's causing pain, right? So I see them moving in the opposite direction here, which would most likely be towards you, um, this Ten of Cups. And we do have the Five of Swords. So what I'm getting with this is that for some of them, this is them just really putting their own needs first, their own wants first when it comes to doing this and just being very determined to do it at all costs. But I feel like that's actually a smaller um, percentage 
of them. I feel like for most of them, this is just them being met with a lot of either manipulation or just being met with some deceit possibly from the other end or just just some kind of energy. It doesn't have to necessarily be bad, like with bad intentions, but that energy that they are being met with can cause them to doubt their own selves as they move forward towards that Ten of Cups. Um, so that's just like an added challenge that they have to overcome. And for the most part, I do see them doing that because our main card is that Six of Swords, okay? But this is just like, just an added challenge. Let's see that Page of Pentacles in the, in the near future. Ooh, interesting. This is big stuff here. We have the, <laughs> it's big energies clarifying a very, very small energy. Um, so I feel like, yeah, this page of pentacles is actually more significant than it appears. Because clarifying, we have the hermit as well as justice, right? Which is also um, your energy, Libra. Um, let's see, did we get any other signs? Is any particular sign standing out to me? No, I don't feel like any particular sign is standing out to me, but um, possibly air signs, like another air sign. Some of you might be dealing with another air sign. It definitely doesn't have to be. Um, and here we have Virgo as well as Libra. All right, so yeah, this person I feel is taking that new path, trusting a new path, and beginning to feel like, you know what? I have to do this my own way almost like feeling like like in order for things to be right and in order to find what is fair for them like again it does come in now as thinking about what it is that they deserve wanting things to be in a perfect balance but in a way where they're also taking into account their own happiness not just what they can provide to other people that step though is small but what it represents is what i just explained which is something big at least for this person, okay? For other people, maybe that's like a given and maybe that's how they just, they've always lived their lives. Not this particular person that you're dealing with here. So for them, it's actually a big step, even if that it's a small step towards, you know what, I gotta do things my way, like, and it has to be, you know, like alone. Going deep down to find what it is that they feel is fair, ultimately and what it is that, that they deserve for themselves. So this could actually be somebody who um, had the tendency to overgive, or maybe was a people pleaser. Doesn't have to be, but I can see how those traits would fit in here. So let's see that Eight of Swords for the potential outcome. All right, we have the two of, we got, we got four here. All right, we have the two of wands, the page of cups, the eight of pentacles, and the king of wands. All right, so it's a work in progress, all right? That's that's what's, what this is saying here. It's a work in progress. Um, this person is focused on being that king of wands, on um, really overcoming these fears and these challenges and what it is, you know, that's really inhibiting them here. Um, but yeah, I can see why why we would have this as the potential outcome when we have um, that page of pentacles now because like I said, right, it's a small step, which means that, you know, they're only in the beginning of understanding what it is that that is fair, right, for them. They are just now beginning to really take themselves into consideration, especially when it comes to, you know, their own feelings and what their wants are. So it feels like it's it's still, you know, something that they're working on. Like I said, it is a big step for them. It's small, but it's a big step for them. And this is just, you know, one of those ongoing challenges is that, you know, they still have to kind of battle with the type of thoughts and the, t the way of thinking that they were used to for so long. All right, but there's definitely, they're sticking to, to their plan, they're sticking to their emotions and, um, and working on it. 
it's a work in progress, but yeah. So, Libra, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up. And let's see what the final oracle message for you is. And also subscribe if you haven't and these messages resonate for you. All right, and we have Vast Vistas, expand your horizons. And I feel like that's exactly what this person is doing. Maybe for you as well, but um, I'm seeing this as being for this person. They're expanding their horizons and seeing things from a different perspective that they do not have to keep carrying this weight on their shoulders as they have been. So that was it, Libra. I thank you so much for watching and much love.